Hey, Shalom Amakim. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rekak Wadash, for allowing me to do another lesson. Yahweh is who the world innerly calls God. Yahweh Shai is his son, who the world innerly calls Jesus Christ, and there's no God beside him. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for being faithful witnesses to the Holy Spirit and Shalom to the elect. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 16, verse 22. Who can declare the works of his justice or who can endure them? For his covenant is far, is far off and the trial of all things is in the end. And we are at the end of the rulership of Esau Edom, our enemy, the enemy of Israel, which Esau Edom today would be the Caucasian race, the so called white man, right? If you want to put it in physical terms, and Israel would be the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? And that's in plain, that's the plainest way I could say it because you have Israel. That look like Caucasians, but their spirit goes back to Israel. Okay? If you can receive it. But again, going into how we are in the time of the end, the end of Esau Edom. And what's happening now is there's talks of uh World War Three. There's talks of this man trying to uh the Heavenly Father out of the picture and put Israel in perpetual servitude right so we're in the time of the end and um to go into the word trial as it is written the trial of all things are in the end right that word trial meaning um it says a formal examination of evidence before a judge and typically before a jury in order to decide guilt in a case of criminal or civil proceedings. So as we are in as we are in the end, you have the Lord's people waking up. Alright, first and foremost, starting off with the elect. And then um you have even uh the celebrities, alright, which are of Israel, right? Which are speaking out against the atrocities of this devil are speaking on the history, which again presents a formal, which is is in a sense a formal examination of evidence. And as it is written of, we are yet this day in our captivity. Okay, and the prosecutor, because in the trial there are two sides: there's a defense, and there's a prosecutor. So the prosecutor. All right, being Esau Edom, otherwise known as the beast, Satan, the devil, the wicked. Okay. Um, attempts to is is will always attempt to silence. Um, the defense. Okay. And um, the point that we are in, which if you go to. Right, the order of events in a trial, you have the opening statements, which is uh it says the lawyers for each side will explain the case, the evidence they plan to present, and the issues for the jury to decide. Then you have the presentation of evidence. Now the opening statements, when you read in Genesis, all right, and Malachi, and basically the beginning, all right. The Old Testament, if you will. All right. You read about Esau's history. Him going into what the spiritual, uh, the spirit of Cain, which Cain is known as the wicked one. And when you go on Malachi 1, he is, Esau is known as the wicked. So Esau came in the spirit of Cain in the beginning. All right. And it says in Revelation, I want to say 20, how he was that serpent. All right. So again, when you go in the book of Genesis 4, was it Genesis 3, Genesis 4 His opening statement was that of Against the Heavenly Father 
right? Where the serpent told Eve, you should not surely die. Okay? Well, Cain told, um, Cain lied to the Heavenly Father about his brother Abel. It tells us in Psalm 58 that the wicked are estranged from the womb. So the opening statement of the wicked is lies, deceit, treachery. All right? And the defense, all right, and along with his opening statement, you know, he's, he's, he's fucked up. He's in a wheelchair. You know, he's got a neck brace on. And, um, at the end of the day, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will defend the innocent. All right? Because when we go into the opening statement, all right, which I was, I guess you would call it a mini trial in a sense to where, where it says, um, Right, Genesis chapter 4 verse uh, 1 And Adam knew Eve his wife And she conceived and bare Cain And said I have gotten a man of the Lord Alright Was Cain The Hebrew word for Cain Is Quayan Meaning Smith Alright And Esau His blessing was a sword Again, comparing the two in the spirit, all right? And then we see how they physically came out to be. And said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. And she again bare his brother Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto Yahweh. And Abel, he, was, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock. And of the fact thereof, and the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. All right. So as we, you know, we go into the understanding of Cain. All right. Which, like I said, when you go into the New Testament, Cain is known as the wicked one. And Abel, the Lord had respect unto Abel. Okay. And um, I just did a quick Google search, not a Google search. But when you go into the, the, the word respect, a lot of times, hell, you can go in and say all the times, it was more so, it was regarded unto Jacob. Right? Famous scripture, Malachi 1. Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Romans 9 tells us, um, in regards to respect, right? That before they were born, Romans 9 and 11 For the children being not yet born Neither having done any good or evil That the purpose of God That the purpose of God According to the election might stand Not of works but of him that calleth It was said of her The elder shall serve the younger As it is written Jacob have I loved But Esau have I hated What shall we say then Is there unrighteousness with God God forbid For he said to Moses I have mercy on whom I will have mercy And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion So that it was not of him that willeth Nor of him that runneth But of God that sheweth mercy Okay So that's the most high Have respect unto Abel Alright Coming back in the spirit of Jacob And the Lord had respect unto Abel And to his offering with Salakia. That word respect, which I don't believe I read, goes into uh to gaze, to regard, behold, look about. Okay. So the most high looked more on our offering than on Esau Edom's, or than on Cain at this point in time. And Abel he also brought of the firstlings of his flock, and of the fat thereof, 
and Yahweh had respect unto Abel and to his offering, but unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect, and Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth, and why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted, and if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door. And unto thee shall his desire be, shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him. So Abel was just doing him, and Cain hating the respect that the Lord had for Jacob, I mean, <laughs> Lord had for Abel, he slew him. Okay? And we go to Genesis 27, it was the same way. Esau hated the fact that Isaac gave Jacob the better blessing. And he said, now what I, uh, 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 you know, basically now my objective is to kill my brother. And the Lord said unto Cain, where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cried unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which have opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. Okay, so again, the opening statement, which Esau, uh, the opening statement from the prosecutor, you know, with blood on his hands. All right. And the most high basically showing him his tape. And he's not showing no remorse. Okay. But the most high being a judge exact the righteousness as it was as it was due. And the most high is doing it at this point in time. You know, um, as he's, uh, you know, uh, stirring up World War Three, Like he says in the book of Joel. That he basically he 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 does it for uh his his elect his his people Israel. Okay. And various scriptures were Baruch 3, um Baruch 4, you know, Joel, like I said, 2, Joel 3. It speaks on um what how the Lord is gonna judge those for um putting a hand on the apple of his eye. Joel 3 and 1 For behold in those days And in that time When I shall bring again The captivity But you know what Yeah I'll read it For behold in those days And in that time When I shall bring again The captivity of Judah And Jerusalem I will also gather all nations And will bring them down To the valley of Jehoshaphat Which is Yahweh's Mashapat Alright or God's judgment And will plead with them For my people and for my heritage Israel Whom they have scattered among the nations And parted my land And they have cast lots for my people And have given a boy for a harlot And sold a girl for wine That they might drink Yeah and what have ye to do with me O Tyre and Sidon And all the coasts of Palestine Okay because along with Esau Edom Are the other nations Going to the Hamites, the so-called Africans The Ishmaelites, the so-called Arabs They all had a hand in our captivity You know They all took part in persecuting And persecuting the Israelites And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily Will I turn your recompense upon your own head Because ye have taken my silver and my gold And have carried away into your temples My goodly pleasant things the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians that ye might remove them far from their border. Alright. 
because the if you look into the eastern slave trade we were sold to the Edomites all right and brought over here to Americas to the Americas for their profit okay and here is where we lost our identity you know as a matter of fact it was beaten out of us speaking Hebrew singing to our Heavenly Father reading about our heritage these are all things that was beaten out of us which like I said in the end you know when the Lord looks up looks down upon his people all right the, the defendant were beaten were bruised were battered our mind state is fucked up you know our people was messed up and I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah and they shall sell them to the Sabians to a people far off for Yahweh have spoken it you see and this is the judgment that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to bring upon the persecutors the scriptures say he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity you see and we, even when we go into that which that's written up in the book of Revelation 13 prior to that it speaks about again what the perse the persecutors would do to the uh, defendants right where it says um Revelations 13 <laughs> Verse 3 And I saw one of his heads as they were wounded to death And his deadly wound was healed And all the world wondered after the beast Because Rome was wounded For a thousand years under Israel Whereas the world would know it today as the Byzantine Empire Or the, the um, Dark Ages you know, they were wounded for a period of time, but then they came back. You know, they came back during it and during the time of the Renaissance, they persecuted all those, you know, who uh claimed to be uh basically Israel, you know, or claimed to be um worshippers of other you know, basic Slakia, they 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 persecuted all those they persecuted Israel. And they worship the dragon which gave power unto the beast. Did I skip verse 3? Let me read it again. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death. And his deadly wound was healed and all the world wondered after the beast. And they worshiped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worshiped the beast saying who is like unto the beast who was able to make war with him. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies and power was given unto him to continue 40 and two months and he opened his mouth and blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell therein right because you know um, these devils under the spirit of Rome all right came back into power right the first thing they did was uh cut down Israel cut down um, basically get their payback As it's written of The earth is given into the hand of the wicked He, he uh, basically covered the faces of the judges They were off. Okay Cutting down um, the holy images Or the heavenly father And his son All right, Making them as a, a so called white man Alright you got the story of what God and Adam Naked touching hands and all that nonsense and it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations, which the saints of the Israelites, Psalms 148. And all that the well upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. Okay. So yeah, man, this is where we at. Whereas in the end, the judgment will always stand to where the Lord will fight for us. Okay. The Lord will fight for us. And um, 
Psalms 16 and 58 tells us Sixteen and sixty-seven. Sixteen and sixty-five. Whew. It's a lot here. <laughs> Sixteen and sixty-four. Therefore have the Lord exactly searched out all your works, and he will put you all to shame. Right? This is when the most high this is when the most high uh, uh slams that gavel. Alright? There's gonna be a point in time where he is hurt enough, you know. Esau is going to be contempt of court, you know, trying to persecute the uh, defendants in court, so to speak. All right, because this is also written in the scripture that they shall be still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. All right, so Esau is going to be in, he's going to kill kill those, you know, that 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 um, proclaim their innocency, basically. All right, that's basically what it is. We're proclaiming that the Lord is our Father, and His devil hates that man. You know, we claiming to be the children of the Lord. So it says, and He will put you all to shame. All right, the evidence has been um, um, put out there. Um, all the evidence. The exhibits, the, the the video footage, right? The bruises, right? As the Apostle Tahar does every so often, even the Apostle Gabar, I believe when you go into Google and you put in yoke, let's 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 do that actually. Let's put in yokes of iron. See what comes up. Israel still comes up. There's even movies, which Esau kind of slowed down, but there's even movies like um I never I haven't, I haven't seen it yet the movie Emancipation. You know, but look at this man. Yokes of Iron. Right, so it says And when your sins are brought forth You shall be ashamed before men And your own sins shall be accusers in that day Alright, you're going to be the one That when the Lord comes back Like it says in um, Exodus 20 Cursed shall be the man Let's grab it actually Alright, because in the day of judgment This devil is still going to be seeking to Um you know, put a, uh, a, 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 you know, a perpetual servitude, you know, or put a, a chip the Lord's people, all right? Put a, um, a device of perpetual servitude in the Lord's people. Exodus 21 and 16, and he that stilleth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death Okay And that's what's happening at this point in time We're being found in this devil's hand And he refuses to let us go He refuses to let us go This is why the Lord is breaking down um, Egypt With particular plagues Because the more Pharaoh Or at this point in time Esau hardening his heart The more plagues the Lord will bring upon his place But reading back into um, 2 Ezra 16 And when your sins are brought forth you shall be ashamed before men, and your own sins shall be your accusers in that day. What will you do, or how will you hide your sins before God and the angels? Behold, God himself is the judge. Fear him, leave off from your sins. All right, but that's impossible, him being the man of sin. Okay? And forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them, so shall God lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. 
For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle with things offered to idols. And they that consent to them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot, but there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. You see? So even in um you know, even to the very to the very end, this devil is gonna be seeking to persecute the innocent, the the uh, defendants. You know, and he don't give a fuck who's watching. That's why Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has got to come back and break him down without hand. You know? It says, uh, but Yahweh is going to send his son back, Yahweh Shah, to, to, you know, to break our bonds. As he is written, the, the, the Savior, he's the salvation of Israel. All right, so that's pretty much it, man. I'm, I'm going to stop it there. With that, Shalom to the elect.